Since you folks have an old-fashioned kitchen, you know the amount of stooping and reaching that must be done and the running from one corner of the kitchen to the other. We've come a long way since this step-saving kitchen was introduced in 1949. Different kitchen jobs have been studied to determine the most comfortable working height for each. And if this year's Consumer Electronics Show offers a glimpse into our own future, our food, from the way we grow, harvest, buy, and prepare it, is likely to see a lot more changes in the next couple decades. Food is essential somehow, and uh, over the last two years, everybody had spent more time at home um, and has more has taken more consideration about their lifestyle and their eating habits. And uh, hence, I think food tech has come into the spotlight. Want to make life easier in your kitchen and reduce clutter? This machine is called Malto. It basically takes all the hassle away. You can walk away from the kitchen and it, it will notify you when dinner is ready. With more than 15 cooking functions from weighing, chopping, sauteing, and at the end, it cleans itself. It even helps you decide what to make. It retails for about a thousand bucks. What if you could store your fresh food long term without actually freezing it? Yes, you heard that right. Evercase uses electric and magnetic fields to stop ice crystals from forming below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It means you could preserve meat, cheese, pastries, even fresh flowers without any damage from freezing. And this is Cruise. I'm told it's the most powerful portable blender on the market. And the thing about CES is the food tech doesn't stop in your kitchen. You may soon see this machine at a grocery store near you. It will help you buy the perfect avocado without having to squeeze it. It uses light to analyze the inside of the fruit. We found out that one third of food is wasted and by uh, uh, building a database of lots and lots of avocados at different stages, we are now able to recognize each avocado and know whether it's ready to eat or whether you have to wait a few days. They have a similar device for growers to test produce like strawberries before they ship so they don't go to waste somewhere along the supply chain. So they can take a good informed decision and to get it to the store or use it otherwise, but at least not get wasted. And before it even gets to the store shelves, new innovations can help the production of our food. This robot looks for weeds so they can be treated with precision instead of overspraying entire fields. It resists all weather conditions thanks to its wheels and it doesn't damage the crops because wheels are overstepping them. John Deere has a similar product that can see, identify and spray a weed the size of your cell phone camera. Technology allows farmers to create more with fewer resources. The company CEO John May gave a keynote speech Thursday to preview how tech will help feed our growing global population expected to reach 10 billion by 2050. More people, less land. The math doesn't work. That is the big picture. And that is why I'm standing on this stage today. John Deere also unveiled exact shot technology to make starter fertilizer more efficient. And with sustainability top of mind, expect to see more protein and dairy alternatives on the market. This vegan milk alternative company says its product provides better nutritional and environmental value than cow's milk and looks, tastes and smells the same. While some of these innovations seem unimaginable to us today, remember there was a time a double sink or a telephone in the kitchen did too. Maritza Giorgio, Scripps News, Las Vegas.